Old School B-Ball is back with more Olympic moments. This time around, we're exploring the biggest Olympic scandals. The Olympic Games have risen to an international event with more than 200 nations involved. Now held every four years with winter and summer games alternating two years apart, it is one of the biggest events of the year. What started out in Greece as friendly competition and fair play has turned into something very different in recent years. Terrorist attacks, drugs, and corrupt judging. Surely this isn't what the Olympics are all about. Scandals at the Olympic Games have been going on almost as long as the games themselves. Here are 15 of the biggest scandals to occur in Olympic history. Angel Matos kicking a referee. Cuban athlete Angel Matos was disqualified in a 2008 Olympic Taekwondo match after he failed and took too much injury time as he waited for medical attention. According to ESPN, athletes are only allowed one minute rest. But after being disqualified, Matos kicked a referee in the face and was then banned from the World Taekwondo Federation for life. Russia's huge doping scandal. The International Olympic Committee commissioned a three-member independent panel to review all the Russian athletes slated to go to the 2016 Rio Games due to allegations of widespread doping. In the end, 271 Russian athletes were approved to compete, which also means that 116 athletes were officially banned from the games. Drunk goalie. The outspoken goalie for the U.S. women's soccer team admitted that she was drunk during an August 22nd appearance on the Today Show following the team's August 2008 win against Brazil at the Beijing Olympics. In an interview with ESPN magazine, she recalled, when we were done partying, we got out of our dresses, got back into our stadium coats, and at 7 a.m. with no sleep, went on to the Today Show drunk. The protests. At the 1968 Olympics, American track athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos, gold and bronze medal winners respectively, for the men's 200-meter dash brought the Black Power movement to the world stage and drew a suspension from the U.S. team when they lowered their heads and threw up glove fists as the national anthem played at their medal ceremony. French figure skating judge, Russian ice dance pair Yelena Beresnaya and Anton Sikorelitsa won the gold medal at the Salt Lake City Olympics, a surprise result given the stunning performance of Canadians Jamie Sell and David Peltier. An investigation by the International Skating Union and the International Olympic Committee found that a French judge had promised to vote for the Russian couple in return for a Russian vote in the Paris figure skating event later in the week. IOC President Jacques Rogge decided that the Canadians should also be awarded the gold medal. Marion Jones admits PDs. Here is probably the best known case in Olympic Games history. Marion Jones had won three gold and bronze medals in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, only to be stripped of all of them later. After lots of investigations in 2007, she finally admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs. Performance-enhancing drugs have been used by Olympic athletes for a very long time. Ben Johnson and Lance Armstrong famously are only a few examples. But who knows how many athletes have gotten away with cheating over the years. It seems there are more and more such cases with every new Olympic tournament. That's such a devastating fact, but at least the anti-doping control is doing much better today. The whack heard round the world. By far one of the biggest scandals in Olympics history, the attack of U.S. figure skater Nancy Kerrigan in 1994. The night before the U.S. figure skating championships, Kerrigan was clubbed in the right knee with a police baton. The attack was believed to be orchestrated by competitor Tanya Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, and his friend Sean Eckhart. Harding was also blamed for assisting her ex, though that has never been proven. Kerrigan, videotaped crying why, why, why immediately after the attack, went on to win the silver medal at the 1994 Lillehammer Winter Olympics. Michael Phelps smoked pot. The most decorated U.S. swimmer in Olympics history was photographed smoking pot at the University of South Carolina in 2009. The picture was published on the cover of newspapers and magazines all around the world, following his eight gold medal wins in Beijing, and Phelps' endorsement deal suffered. Phelps bounced back in the 2012 Olympics in London, when he took home four gold medals and two silver medals. Boxing travesty. 
American boxer Roy Jones Jr. was a sure bet to win the light middleweight gold at the 1988 Seoul Summer Olympics. He dominated South Korean boxer Park Si Hun for the entire match, landing 86 punches to Si Hun's 32. Despite not winning a single round, the judges shockingly decided to award Si Hun the victory and the gold medal. In the years that followed, accusations flew that corrupt Olympic judges were pandering to the host nation and that Jones Jr. had been robbed of his rightful victory. While Jones Jr. would go on to have a successful career as a professional boxer, the gold medal still remains with Si Hun. The Cold War comes to the basketball court. The U.S. was on a 63-game winning streak when they met the USSR in the gold medal game in the 1972 Olympic Games. In the final three seconds of the game, the U.S. was up 50-49. to 49. The Soviets inbounded the ball, but a referee blew the whistle with one second remaining. It was determined that the Soviets' coach had called a timeout. Three seconds were put back on the clock. The Soviets again inbounded the ball, and seconds later a horn sounded signaling the U.S. victory. However, the teams were ordered back on the court when it was determined that the clock had not been properly reset to show three seconds remaining. This time, the Soviet Alexander Belov caught a full court pass and scored the winning shot as the buzzer sounded. The Soviets won after being given three chances to score the winning basket. To this day, the silver medals awarded to the U.S. lie unclaimed in a vault in Switzerland. Oscar Pistorius's murder conviction. One of the most recent scandals started in 2012, when South African athlete Oscar Pistorius became the first amputee sprinter to compete at the Olympics. He finished second in the 400 meter heat with a time of 45.44 seconds. Pistorius is now better known for being convicted for the murder of his girlfriend in 2014. He was originally found guilty of culpable homicide and sentenced to five years in prison, according to The Guardian. But after an appeal by the state prosecutors, he was convicted of murdering his girlfriend with four bullets fired through a closed toilet door and sentenced to six years in prison, according to CNN. Obviously, he won't be competing in the 2016 Olympic Games. Underage Chinese Gymnasts Many question whether the members of the female Chinese gymnastics team were actually younger than the required age of 16 at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. In the end, the International Olympic Committee concluded that everything was legal. This one was never resolved, mostly because the allegations were impossible to prove. Ben Johnson, the most reviled drugs cheat in athletics, the Canadian was found to have taken steroids to win the 1988 Olympic 100 meters title in a world record time of 9.79 seconds. Ultimately, six of the eight finalists from that race tested positive for banned drugs or were implicated in a doping scandal in their careers. 1996 Summer Olympics Bombing A pipe bomb exploded at the Centennial Olympic Park in Atlanta during the 1996 Summer Olympics. A security guard named Richard Jewell, who was initially falsely accused as a suspect, discovered the bomb and was able to clear most of the spectators before it detonated. It was later discovered that Eric Robert Rudolph was responsible for the attack that killed two people and injured 111 others. Munich Massacre At the Munich Olympic Games in 1972, a Palestinian terrorist group called Black September took 11 Israeli athletes hostage in what is regarded as the worst attack in the history of the games. Two of the athletes were killed in the attack and the other nine died the following day during a failed rescue attempt by German police officers that also left five of the eight terrorists dead. This memorial plaque stands in front of the Israeli athletes quarters commemorating the victims. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, like Old School B-Ball on Facebook, and follow Old School B-Ball on Instagram. Until next time.